Hello there. How's it going? Oh my god. Guys, it's the first D&D session of 2023. Whoa! I'm really excited. This is really cool. Oh my god. Oh. Now, I'm hoping that on Discord at least my mic is being okay. Mostly because I normally have to like reset the audio settings and then turn everything back on. Because it doesn't want to work sometimes. And fuck knows why. Thanks, Discord. Very cool. But don't worry. We won't we won't cuss out Discord too much. Otherwise it'll crash on me. Um <laughs> But I hope everybody's doing good. Had a good week and uh had a good start to the weekend. It's been pretty chill this way. From our when did I last see you guys? Stream on Wednesday started. <gasps> oh, so long ago. Um, <laughs> I'm very excited to get back into this. It's gonna be fun. We got some shenanigans, and the friends have found out more about themselves over this last little level up. So they are level three now, and uh, things are being revealed. Ooh, spooky. Um, <laughs> But I am excited to jump into this, and let's just fucking get into it, because, oh my god. Um, I will quickly flick a message to somebody. We'll jump into our normal things that we do. Oh my god. It's been so long. It's only been like a month. It's not been that long, but like, it feels like so long. Been D&D starved. <laughs> so, when I switch it over, it's not currently the music that you're listening to, but you will get to hear the music from Kevin McLeod, um, who puts the music onto Roll20 for free, which is super dope. Um... For the DMs out there that use Roll20, there is the jukebox section, but there's a subsection called Incompetech that has a bunch of different songs. In my About Me section, there's a Google Doc that has all of the songs that I have curated into playlists. So you can check those out there. Um, I do rules differently. If you want to know what those are, as a little reminder, at any time, type in exclamation point DND, and you will get a Google Doc with all of the rules that we currently use. Most of them are homebrewed stuff. Um, I'm rude, so uh, the death and like bring you back to life rolls are hard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, to see the artists that have made some of the maps that you may or may not see, um, aside from the world map, I made that myself. Um, you can type in exclamation point DD maps and you will get the links to the reclusive cartographer as well as go adventure maps. Um, exclamation point end of Latov, which is the campaign title, will give you a synopsis of the game if you need a little reminder. Um, Moobot will pop in every now and again to remind y'all of channel point inspiration if you think a player's doing some dope shit. Um, feel free to reward them an inspiration. They're doing stuff. Um, we take a break around 8.30 for 45 minutes just so we can go and get some dinner and just take a quick little break in between. Um, as I am the DM, I don't look at chat, I leave it to my mods to suss y'all out. Normally y'all are pretty good, so just behave yourselves. <laughs> um, I look at the chat in the beginning, break and wrap up, so while it's limited, I do need to focus on these guys, as this is their experience, and I have bad ADHD brain. <laughs> um, I will check every now and again if, the, uh, if there are sorry, any inspiration points given out. Um, during the break and at the end so that people can at least get their inspiration if they are rewarded. So yeah. Well that stuff, we are still waiting on one person. I'm not too sure where he's at. So I won't switch over to the RP. I'll just leave it on starting screen for now but we're still talking so. I don't really have any other way of messaging him. 
give me a sec. Let's just jump in with the peeps otherwise. Ah, oh, god damn it. Hold on. I have to do something because I just remembered that I have to turn off my goddamn face cam thing. I always forget to do that. Are you gonna cooperate? Please cooperate, that'd be great. There we go. Hey guys! Hello. 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 I'm gonna turn that down a little bit more. Just in case. Uh, is it working? Yes, you are audible. Although I will have to turn y'all up. No, oh, okay. It's just because it's apparently very quiet for some reason. And as soon as he turns me. it up, everyone starts whispering, so he thinks it's. Hey. Evil. Oh my god, don't you dare. Yeah. Okay, well, at least on this side, it looks like it's fine. I'm just gonna turn everyone up just a little bit. Brooke, say something. I haven't heard you yet. Hello. Cool, you're all good. Awesome. Um, I am not too sure we care, I'm just going to send him another message. Because... He might have been asleep. <laughs> American time. Um, I've still got the stream starting thing open. Because otherwise it's going to mess with the layout if I switch over. Or switch places. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it'll be worse. I'll show you, because it'll be funny. See half of everything. <laughs> oh my god. Uh huh. So I'll just leave that. Just your shoulder. Just my shoulder. You're being DM'd by a shoulder today. Um, <laughs> that's it. Chip uh, off the old shoulder. Oh my god. <laughs> um. like, Brooke, you know this better than I do. It's what, like, 2 a.m. over there? Brooke. No, it's 11.30. It's 11.30, okay. That's fine. It's 11.30. Yeah, I never know times overseas. It's confusing as hell. I have it on my phone. That's a smart idea. My god. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, what I might... What I might do, so that we're not waiting, because I didn't actually check to see if y'all were online before I started. Um, and... I'm pretty sure... That's right. I was trying to find my roll 20 tab. I was like, out of everything, you'd think I'd have the roll 20 tab open. You'd fucking hope so. It's not as if, you know, you're the GM or anything. Nah, nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, that's our max volume. Awesome. We'll do a session recap anyway, and we can at least start with some of the other, um, the rumor thing, because we can at least start with that. Um, actually, we can do that first. Good thinking, you see. Get everybody in character. You're more than welcome. I'll try and find a good one. So you'll be answering these as your characters, by the way. Hmm? 
I was trying to do, do everything to delay what everything possible till Kev turns up. Very fair. Hmm. Most of these are going to be like, I don't know, <laughs> which is the funny thing. <laughs> try, gotta try and find one that sort of matches what would your character do at the moment or something. Everything and nothing at the same time. Mm -hmm. What is your character like, not what does your character know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. What does your character know and what do you know? Spoilers! Uh, everything and nothing. <laughs> that and that is what you need to remember. <laughs> That's the real thing. Because I've, I've, I've kind of, uh, yeah, been uh, struggling with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. If you're unsure, feel free to just like check. Yeah, I just gotta re go over what we talked about. So. Yes. Did I send that to you? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. That's it's like everything else. You, you, yeah. <laughs> Probably didn't. Wait, didn't? I? Fucking hell. It's like... I don't... There's been a couple of times that you've done that, to be honest. Wait, you've been what like, was I like, oh, I've, I've got to send you this, and then you don't. Don't I? Well, wow. Brain's gone worse. Just I just don't follow it up. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, an amnesia campaign. Yeah. Why would I? Not in real life! <laughs> uh, I have shit memory anyway, so uh, I might as well be. Fucking clearly, so do I. <laughs> yeah, not only our characters that have amnesia, it's the gods as well. That's why they're not turning up, they've just forgotten the world exists. Exactly. They've forgotten about me, that's why. <laughs> My god. They just run around something. Like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just a god uh, reincarnate. Oh god. <laughs> That's too powerful. That's terrifying. Not that at all. I've got it's your problem. fault. <laughs> what? Like, I don't want to do my job anymore, yeah. um, so I'm going to make everyone forget everything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm over this shit. <laughs> Goodbye, memory. <laughs> uh huh. I'm just going to delete mine while I'm at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Completely forgets that I'm a god. <laughs> hmm. I've got to learn everything again. Oh no! That's a sign. These questions are dumb. Fucking hell. Okay. What? What did you do? Um. Well, what didn't you do? Right with one. Or that's a better true. one. What's that? Or the better one. Hopefully. I mean, I'm not too sure. we I have a bunch of them, but that are so just like stuff that you would probably have to know. <laughs> like, you have to kind of know yourself to answer the question. Um, so instead, I'm just going to say. What is something that you like about the town that you're in, in Holbeck? It can be the people that you've met, anything. Or it can be nothing. I want to leave. <laughs> it's too hot in this place, so I want to fuck off. <laughs> Very fair. Uh, I need to start writing shit down. Like, uh, a pen. Pro probably would be the people. Who mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm. Ah, but just enjoys the general small town community feel and the fact that every just about everyone has been like really friendly and helpful despite the amnesia stuff. Library, I really like the library. Fucking nerd. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, no, that's hey, fair, that's hey. Fair. No, that's that's no. <laughs> <laughs> totally not. I'm totally not the random person that's like all giddy that I've pre-ordered Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I still need to do that. Okay. I did that this week. I can't turn to you either. I know someone that pre-ordered it as soon as the pre-orders got released. Damn. Okay, I've only like, sent Session Zero money, stuff to Brooklyn and Reckless. I, have to I well. put all mine on Afterpay, so... Hey, I did that with my Switch. Haha. <laughs> I, I put $200 how, on my Xbox you... after on Afterpay. How the hell did you do that? 
You have cards. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I had to buy two separate gift cards, so I had to do one 100 and one 100, and then just put it all on my Xbox. <laughs> so now I'm paying $50 every second week. Oh boy. <laughs> Which I, I'm actually not, I'm just gonna do 25 one week and 25 the next. One payment's gonna be finished before the other. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's fine. yeah. yeah. I am gonna try something, so I'll have to leave call and come back. Um, no, how dare you? Well, fuck you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 you just leave call. You just never come back. <laughs> <laughs> just never, just never okay. come back. Um, I'm gonna try and give him a call, um, but I'll have to, and also meet on stream. It's fine. Baby. Okay, so I'm gonna have to mute all the audio on stream just in case he does pick up because I don't want that to come up on stream. So, y'all are gonna sit in silence for a bit. Give me a sec, sorry. Okay. Oops, wrong tab. All the applause for just you turning up. Yeah. It was my applause for you holding the door. <laughs> just sitting there. Yeah, that was my applause for you holding the door. I was just like, yeah! I thought it was like, I'm sitting shattered. in the hallway, the rats start coming coming up, you run out, and run out to the door <coughs> and the rats just stop and applause so loudly that all the window's gone. <laughs> Yeah, what? Like with a Superman entrance or something. <laughs> Tyler walks in at the perfect time. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. A bit confusing, but that's alright. Um, that was the point. Cool, cool. I'm very good at we that. Had to confuse you. <laughs> um, what I might do is. Um, we won't do anything too big. Um, we can just do the. Um, fucking hell, words. Um, the rumor, and then because that is the last day of this year, so we'll only probably do the day. Um, it, because I have stuff for the first day of the next year, so I don't want Kev to miss out on that. Um, so it will be a short session, but we'll still do a session because you guys showed up. Um, did he go to bed? I think so. He forgot about <laughs> us. It's alright, things happen. Um, I'm gonna laugh if he shows up in the next like half hour. If he doesn't, that's fine, I can just switch that, uh, switch it up. But what I am gonna do is... Hmm, this is gonna be really awkward on screen. Um, yeah, for some reason my Discord is super laggy if, my, if I have my two camera turned on. Yeah, you're all good. It's all good. Um, I think I'm just going to so turn no off camera. I'm just being so stupid. It's all right. I've been screwed up with Tyler's shoulder anyway, so what's one more yeah. camera down? Uh, See what happens to it. No, that's all right. I'm just going to... It's your other shoulder this time. Oh, I turned off the wrong thing. I, I have a face. On. You, have, you have a face, but you're Kev, apparently. Like <laughs> yeah. yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just do it like that for now, so... Whoops. Um, otherwise, I have to rearrange everything, and if he does show up, then I have to rearrange everything again, and that's a lot of work that I can't be fucked doing. <laughs> so, uh, previously, session four, um, it is the 30th of Rain Call, uh, the second to last day of the year. I had to look up what the fuck 
Oh, pen, pen, I can't even say it. Penultimate. Penultimate. Okay, I thought it was how you say it. Okay. Um, you all died. You are more than welcome. <laughs> I had to Google it. <laughs> um, so you guys are back in the basement with several rotting ragged cat creature things that um, attack y'all. Going through everything, you guys um, are in a very long fight. <laughs> So, um, a little bit of backup seems to show up as Bo and Kaldar, um, show up. They just seem to be hanging around and came in to help you guys because they heard, um, Rook. I'd say so. Uh, everybody, except Kavra, I believe, gets knocked down, um, at least a couple of times, um, and... After a little while, the um, circle on the floor ends up being activated and waking up the thing in the coffin. Um, Amora, I nearly said Amira. <laughs> um, Amora. I, <laughs> I, I would say Amira or Adora because those are the brains. In, those are the names in my head. The names. The brains in my name. Guys. Uh, thank yeah. fuck it's a short session today, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, hey, it's, it's the first session of the year. Uh. Just breathe. <laughs> it's all okay. <laughs> I have to deal with the same thing tomorrow. You do. And I'm gonna give you so much shit, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, at least mine's pre planned. Mine's hey, pre written. Mine no, is so oh, true, like actually. <laughs> mine is mostly pre written. Not yeah, this though. <laughs> I don't have to deal with much as much as you do. Um, Unless you just, you know, decide to go, like, way off. That's alright, I'm in control. <laughs> you say you're in control, but... <laughs> that is also very fair and very true. Just completely derails the whole campaign. Honestly, go for it. You know, you know the sort of weird shit we'll start doing for no Yes, yes I do. Specific, very specifically you, but... <laughs> Z is the wild card. EC is kind of a wild card because he's always kind of chaos incarnate. <laughs> I mean, I like to think I'm relatively stable, but I'm taking, I can very easily take uh, cues from the people I play, I run for on Thursday. They, mm -hmm. no, no, no real answers to whatever they're doing. <laughs> oh, I love I'm that. I'm planning them a campaign the show. at this point mm -hmm. and just letting them do stuff. Just all over the show. Oh, yeah. Jeebus. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the circle gets lit up with a Mora inside, um, which wakes up a big thing that these weird cat bone creatures were actually after. Um, Rourke tries to break Amelia out of this circle thing, as it seems to be just drawing out her blood and fueling whatever this weird creature is. Um, another Thank person... You. Woo! Magic! Another person comes in, which seems to be another friend of Rourke's. Um, the big Goliath dude that he punched in the face in the bar when you first met. Uh, they seem to be friends now. <laughs> I, I just presumed that's how they speak to each other. Hey. Some relationships are weird like that. <laughs> some some oh, people are into it. I know, I know, I know, that one. I know that all too well. Uh, I don't know that nice, man. Shit. Um... Once you guys finish out clearing all of the weird cat creatures and the bigger cat creature, um, you guys head back to town and uh, Amora goes to talk to the... Uh, with Zinnia, the cleric, and visit some of the rats. Um, sorry, before you leave, I didn't read that part. Um, Kava invites anyone who thinks they're smarter than him to take a look at the book. Um, because there is a weird looking book in the corner that apparently nobody could read. So, um, Eolus and Bo go to read it with no hesitation, <laughs> though it is still incomprehensible. Uh, Kaba is low key offended. I'm sure he's more offended by me. Oh, yeah, Bo, he doesn't really know, he's just turned up, but like, yeah. you, he, he likes to think he's on at least on par with you and is offended when you think you're immediately smarter than <laughs> <laughs> this has been proven incorrect. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's, it's, the proof of it is completely irrelevant. It's that you think yeah. you're smarter than me. <laughs> I 
can't believe uh, one of us grabbed the book, though. Yes, um... I was not yes. smart enough to do that. Mm -hmm. No, I <laughs> um, was! <laughs> <laughs> um, you do take the book with you, and, um... Rook's friend says that he is someone that can do some comprehending languages, so that potentially she can read it, and will let you guys know the information. So she is being handed it. Um, the same Goliath man also takes a bunch of the bones and stuff, and says that he'll sell it. He says he's not taking any of the stuff that comes with it. All of the money will go to you guys, because you're the ones that really fought the thing. Um, so he goes and gets y'all a bunch of money, um, and... I believe I put it. I believe I think it. You messaged it to us. I'm pretty sure I did. On our sheet. I don't remember. I, I don't either. Oh, it's in player planning. So you guys yeah. all get 120 gold pieces each. Each. Yeah. Go put that in. Yes. Go. Yeah. 120, you say? Yes, uh, correct. Yeah. I will put it in rocks as yep. well. Shit. Math. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> do what? I forgot my number pad was attached to my um, Discord. <laughs> and right. I deafened myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, no, nice. Um, yeah, so after that happens, Amora goes and does her thing. Um, Kava looks for new non combat axe. Oh, for a new combat. Um, con not new non combat axe. That's Glyphka. Um, and reads his book. Rook grabs an ale um, and is joined by Bo, who talks with him and passes over um, some of the loot by Woundstriker, a Goliath guy. Um, Eolus goes to see about the rumor quest and meets a well off woman upset about her arranged marriage. Uh, she would rather be traveling and doesn't find men attractive in the slightest. Um, only her betrothed can remove the ring on her finger. She figures that if all the locals hate her, although not so far off wanting her head, uh, she could be freed via exile. Um, Eolus begins spreading the word that she was selling off mining equipment for personal gain. So with that, y'all all came back and ended up going to bed, and wake up on the 31st of Raincall, the last day of the year. I'm totally so good at spreading this rumor, I really want to buy some of this mining equipment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys did pick up like a mining um, quest as well, like to um, yeah, look so. at over some of the miners. I know we did a, um, one of the carts earlier. Yes, yeah. And yeah, I think we did pick up a mining escort quest. That's it? the word, escort quest. Yep. So... Damn escort missions. They Ooh. always walk so slow. <laughs> they do. But don't worry. I'll, like, put haste on them or something. <laughs> well, they, no, they always walk too fast, but too slow for you to run. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yep. That sounds incredibly more dickish. <laughs> uh, yep. So, you guys all wake up and meet downstairs. Um... Well, all of you aside from Rook, as you guys are sitting down there having your breakfast, Rook hasn't come downstairs just yet. Um, Bo and... Fuck, what was his name? <laughs> Where is my character list? Um, Calder? Calder, that's him. Yeah, I have so many things, trust me. <laughs> um, Bo and Calder come downstairs a little bit later. Um, Bo looks hungover as fuck. She's actually come downstairs wearing sunglasses and it's just like hiding from light. Um, she like goes over to one of the tables. Cold, uh, Coldar looks okay, but he does come over to you guys looking a little bit like guilty. Um, so he just kind of says, uh, so Rook's probably gonna be out of commission for today. Uh, Mm. We found out that uh, some of the food that I gave him wasn't really cooked that well, so that's on me. Uh, he's not having a great time. Sorry. Uh, you guys have fun on the last day of the year. K. 
because he's not. Sorry! And he just kind of turns around and goes over to Bo and kind of like picks her up and drags her out. As soon as he opens the door, she goes, ah. Oh. The light well, that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> it and sounds then. like we should also avoid the toilet at this place. <laughs> that might be a good idea. Because y'all can just kind of chill for the day. No, no chilling. No chilling. What y'all gonna do? Runs out and starts fighting people. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> There's an adventurous <laughs> guild here, come on. I would rather not. You're level 3, you can <laughs> do it. I feel like I would be punched in the face. <laughs> as soon as I ran out, Mike runs out. Uh, close line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just gets closed off. Uh, no, I... I think Elios would just... go to the temple pray for a little bit with Mike, mm -hmm. catch her up on everything, them up on everything. Yep, so it is. Okay. Anything that Kaba and Amora are going to do? <coughs> uh, but we'll do some more of the trying to read his own handwriting for the morning, cool, cool. and then we go off and wander around town in general, mm -hmm. I think. Until, uh oh, till sort of from what sort of mid morning to mid day. Mm -hmm. Remembers that one. <laughs> yes, because I based it off I a don't fucking real artist. I her name. <laughs> <laughs> we just start talking. Yeah. Look, if you could see the character list that I'm looking at, I screwed myself over already. I, I would rather not. <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> um, the long enough playlist and character list is my campaign code. Oh, so. yeah. Uh huh. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we'll start with light. Um, you guys, not you guys, sorry, Eolus. Um, you head over to the temple and find them just kind of doing their own thing. Um, you can see there's actually a um, large area on either side of the shrine, yep, that actually has some food out on it. Um, lots of fresh food, fresh bread, things like that, and the doors are wide open so people can just kind of come in and get some food. Um, there's a bunch of like pamphlets and stuff like that, but there's also just a bunch of clerics and things around just talking with people. A lot of people are actually out and walking around in the town today, um, just taking up a lot of the um, a lot of the space in the streets, just doing their own thing for the last day of the year, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, Elios doesn't like people, so mm -hmm. probably just wraps himself in his cloak, puts his hood up, mm -hmm. minds his own business to the temple, and then when he mm -hmm. gets there, probably just goes and grabs a piece of fruit, and yeah. sits down. Nice. Um, Light does find you. She, um, they are uh, looking around. Sorry, I was looking at Bo's name <laughs> when I said that. Um, they're looking around and see you, and then just kind of like um, usher you over to an area that's a lot quieter, a lot less people. Um, there aren't too many people in the shrine. Um, a couple of people kind of walk past and have a peek in, but a lot of them just don't really like breach the entrance. They just kind of look in and are like, oh. That's How a dare thing. they? They must come in and talk. <laughs> <laughs> Repent your sins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I find you and take a and take a seat. Uh, what do you fill them in on? Um, I'd probably fill them on on me almost dying. <laughs> uh, they immediately just begin like <laughs> they they take your hood off and just like looking you over, just like do they do they need to heal you in any way? They're just like what. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you should be picking so, up uh, these quests? Uh, yes. <laughs> I enjoy it. 
as much as I get my face pummeled, I enjoy adventuring. And especially with this group. They have made me open my eyes. And I'm learning who I was. That's Slowly. Good. Uh, I don't know if that outweighs the death factor, but good. I mean, you're still here, so... Uh, anyway, continue. There's <laughs> just, like, a worry written all over their face, but they're trying to, like, push that aside and be like, it's your life, I'm not going to control this. <laughs> I, I would probably fill her in with the new friends that we have met and made. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um... Much like your group, they are very... Well, they stand out. <laughs> so, they're they're guess, an assortment of people. <laughs> that is a very good way to put it. <laughs> uh, um, I suppose much... Well, many adventuring groups are. But as long as you get along with one another, I guess that's where the line between just an adventuring party and true companions come... I don't know. I don't think I could do adventuring. I very much enjoy my quiet space here. That is ab absolutely fair. <laughs> quiet is uh, definitely better than the crowds outside. <laughs> it does get a lot around this time. Uh, well, today and tomorrow will be quite a bit, but after that, it normally eases out. A lot of people traveling, trying to get through to um, to Orangeshire. So a lot of people pass through here, especially from Farncom at the top of the continent. What do you plan to do today? Uh, I might head to the library to do a little bit of light reading. I might walk around the town, see what's happening. Hmm. I don't know yet. I'm yet to decide. Very fair. I hope that whoever you fill in your day, you enjoy it. It's been nice filling you in with my <laughs> adventures. It's been nice to have someone to talk to. Everyone does keep to themselves. Even though the town is of decent size, it feels Lonely. That's understandable. You can always join me for a drink or a walk through the town. Well, I wouldn't turn it down. I have some things to do here for a little while, but perhaps later I'll join you in the library. That would be nice. And someone comes over and just like asks about a couple of things and they give you a nod and get up and go and help them. Um, you're free to chill there for however you want, however long you want to, and then go and do your thing. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably do a quick prayer and mm -hmm. then go for a walk around and then get to the library. Probably a half an hour or so, walk around the library, uh, around, and then cool. get to the library. Alright, so it's um, if there's any stuff that you want to look into in particular, just flick me a message and then we can do that kind of thing. We'll go to EC. <coughs> um, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> you do some reading. Um, I believe you have advantage on your next check from for a cantrip, you do. So I'll get you to roll Arcana with advantage for learning a uh, cantrip in particular. And then I'll just get you to roll one other one. Nice. Since you have your intelligence score now. And then one I more. am intelligent, and Ooh. I know it. <laughs> cool, cool. So with that one, you definitely do learn prestidigitation cantrip. You kind of take a bit of time um, trying to get that one spell that was almost on like the 
tip of your claws last time, and then you managed to just like get that. I believe was cyan for you. Was it? No, aqua. Yeah. Yep. Um, like color to kind of form together into this little, um, almost like this little ball, and it just kind of like changes color rapidly, and then putting it down into a... Because you're outside of doing this, yeah? Yeah, sure. Cool. <laughs> There's a couple of leaves and stuff on the ground as you kind of drop um, this little, like, ball that you have. A couple of the leaves start to just, like, change color, and you're like, oh, okay, I've got the hang. I've got the hang of this. So you can now always cast that spell. And uh, one other arcana check for a first level. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, my handwriting <laughs> uh, uh -huh. is what I'm going to keep blaming. This, this spell in particular, you're just like squinting at, and it's like, the hell did I write? This one in particular is just like, nah, not coming to. <laughs> did, I, did I get my doctor to write that one? <laughs> <laughs> you wrote it, and then you just kind of like smudged it as you do, kind of turn the page and just kind of smush together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you are fairly certain that that one's not really going to come to you anytime, <laughs> anytime soon. Maybe you'll loop back after you learn some of the other ones. But um, you are doing this for how long? Because it'll depend how many rolls I get you to do. Uh, just the first half of the morning. Okay. First half of the morning. So I'll say, because the cantrip was a really easy one. That can be part of the first one. I'll get you to do one more. Yeah, sorry, I'm in your sheet. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Close, Jesus. <laughs> it's like a three, isn't it? That's it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, buddy. <laughs> you do have another inspiration point, by the way, if you haven't put that down. Not that but you like, have to use it, but like... It's I'm just going to be wasted on anything like this. Mm-hmm. You are uh, having another look through. You can skip that spell and go to the next one. Man, that day you were just kind of like scribbling furiously, weren't you? It was just... It's not that legible. You might have to rewrite that page, but you spend a little bit just like squinting, being like, I think that's what that word says. But it ends up being more confusing than before. <laughs> you can definitely pick it up tomorrow and hopefully... Um, <laughs> hopefully get them down. And what about the second half of your day? Uh, till lunchtime, he was going to wander around, just generally wander around town, get a feel of, like I said in the question before, feel of the community yeah. just being around. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And then go look for something to hit with his non-combat axe nice. later in the day. Cool, cool. Um, you can go out to the same area you did previously doing your thing last time to do your non-combat axe hitting um but as you're wandering through the town again it is crowded but you do see there is a very very strong sense of community here um the town is rather it's not large it is literally a medium town but um anybody that's kind of like walking by they'll be like hey person like call them by their name and things like that so people know each other quite well um you can see, because it's the last day of the year, people have little stalls set up in the town. There are just, like, children selling knickknacks and things like that that they've made. Um, some people trying to sell some carvings they've done. Um, and just everyone's kind of, like, interacted with each other. There are quite a few carts passing through. Um, so every now and again, everyone just is, kind of clears the way as there's, like, bigger mass of people, carts coming through, and then they come back. Um, happens every now and again. But everyone's just having a good time. There are kids running through the streets with like kites and balloons and stuff. It's a good, good time. It's a good little town. Um, and for <coughs> excuse me, I'll get you to make a uh, athletics or strength check. Up to you. Uh, I'm not sure it makes a difference to me, actually. Cool. That's up to you. 
Nice. Oh, I do know that one. <laughs> that is Rourke's sheet. I don't need that open. Um, that's your sheet. I need the full sheet. There we go. Cool. Cool. As you are swinging away and doing some stuff, you do actually manage to... Um, Because again, I think I've said this quite a bit, but I'm just kind of reiterating it. There aren't like tree trees here. There are lots of fallen trees and things like that, and big stumps. So you are kind of hacking away at one of the stumps, and then a large piece of it comes away as you're cutting into it. You're just kind of getting into like a really good rhythm, hacking away. Um, and because you're probably out of town and quite close to the, uh, the mountain, as you are over there, you hear the sound of something, like, rumbling. Um, and as you do, you kind of look around you, like, what the hell's going on? Um, I'll get you to make a d20 roll. You don't know your wisdom yet. Okay. Um, it looks like it's... <coughs> it looks like it sounds like it's coming from the mountainside as you look up you can see just from something up higher in the mountain there is a pretty reasonably sized like rock couple of rocks like falling down from the mountain coming your way and as you see them kind of coming towards you rapidly you drop your axe and instinctively like crouch down to go and like hopefully jump out of the way but as you do you kind of like find you can move your arms into your shell and then you just kind of like keep doing that as you can hear them getting closer and just kind of like sink into your shell as you hear and feel um yourself be like hit by these massive rocks and feel yourself ping pong away <laughs> from um <laughs> where they hit you the shell kind of like spinning and ending up hitting one of the fallen logs you pop your head out like it hurts a bit, but it would have hurt a lot more if it hadn't hit, like, just your shell. Um, so, in a really weird kind of way, uh, you learn that you have shell defense. <laughs> Which is a one. As you manage to quickly dodge into that. You go and pick up your axe, it's totally fine. You continue doing your thing, trying to get back into that, like, smooth swing of what you're doing. You find you pick it up quite easily, and almost start to feel that, like, rhythm again. Yeah. You're putting that stuff together. Awesome. And... Amora... You are going about the town and going to see Banksy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, again, you have to kind of move through quite a few people, um, dodging carts every now and again, and you go head over to the fountain area where you first met this little gnome girl, and she is standing there with the, like, mayor person that you brought her to, um, the bugbear woman, and the two of them are standing with a bunch of, like, they look like construction workers, <laughs> um, as they're both kind of looking at these big laid plans on, um, this paper, and pointing to different areas, they're all just talking ecstatically, and they're having a really good time, people kind of walk past and look at them a bit weirdly, but then kind of peek over and see what they're doing, um, and when you come along, uh, the bugbear woman Bryn um, kind of like ushers you forward to show you all of the blueprints and stuff like that. And you can see that an area of the town that's been quite run down for quite a while, as well as some of the area to the north of the town, um, they're going to hopefully try and expand a bit so that there's, I guess, like a more safe area for people to go and explore, as well as a couple more houses, um, 
Bren trying to very much be like an advocate for housing and things like that for people that are moving through or need places to stay. Uh, Holbeck is pretty good. Um, there aren't very many homeless people around. There are a couple, but she is very... You can tell that she's very, very active in the community, trying to make sure that people are being looked after. And you can also imagine that the heart of Holbeck has a big part to play in that as well. The Furborg woman. The Furborg person, I think. I forget. But is there anything else that you want to do? She, yeah. You head, pff, sorry, uh, you head out of town. Uh, I have no idea what you said, sorry. <laughs> yep, I hate like an instance like you're going from like connected to not connected. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you're I'm roboting. I'm like half of what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing like half of what you're saying. Uh, I wanted to say if I could like take one. Okay. Or not take one. Come with me. Oh, okay. I get what you mean. Yep. Um, yeah. So, you go out and hang oh, with the rats, and it's all chill. Um, and, hmm. I don't think you know your wisdom score, do you? You do. Uh, get you to make an animal handling check. Yeah, it is. Um, if you... Okay. Do you have roll 20 open? You do, because huh? you're in here. Do you want to try closing roll 20 yeah. and then just... Are you rolling physical dice? Yeah. Yeah, I can. then I can just add the modifiers. Maybe that might help a little bit. You haven't added anything to it yet, yeah? No. I cool. Okay, so you got a 14. So, so 14 total. That's pretty good. Um, all of the rats know you by now, so they're they're pretty chill with you. Um, they come and hang out when they see you kind of approach. Um, and I will say that you notice one of them is kind of hanging around more than the rest of them like it's the first one to get to you and as everyone kind of leaves when you head home for the day that one just kind of lingers a little bit more like it doesn't really want to go back it just wants to stay and hang with you so you have a little rat pal a rat pal yeah i'm not gonna forget about the little rat pal okay I did to the ferret Yes. It was a ferret. It was a ferret, Bartholomew. Yeah. Barty. Let's put this up here. Um, rat pal. I somehow survived literally everything. Yes, somehow. It's insane. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so in your personality traits, you have rat pal. That's one of your personality traits. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's that random girl with the rat. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, as you're coming back into town, um, as soon as, like, the sun is starting to set, um, the stalls kind of get packed away and things like that, and people start partying. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of drinks and stuff like that. There's a lot of people rimming around, and um, the bugbear woman, Bryn, she is setting up a kind of large like bonfire area for people to kind of just like celebrate around and stuff like that um it's near the uh fountain so like not too close to it or set it on fire or anything else on fire but they've put it near the fountain so that hopefully it can be put out if it goes out of control so She's at least thinking of that stuff. <laughs> um, so that you see that as you're coming back into town, as well as anyone else who's still roaming about. Um, 
all of the taverns are packed, so whenever you do return to the Pink Flame, there are people everywhere. Like, um, do make sure that you've taken another... How much is it? I keep forgetting. Um, another gold out of your pockets for rooms. I will do that for Rook. Yes, yeah, so all of the taverns are very, very busy. They got lots of people in them. Lots of people are just partying and having a good time. I just realized the music like it wasn't audible. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, people do look at you weirdly, Amora, with the rat on your shoulder. Um, but nobody really, like, approaches you about it. You do see a couple of people that are just like, Oh, lady with a rat. Cool. And they just keep going. <laughs> keep going about their night. Um, probably two of them were very drunk already, asked if they could pat the rat. Um, and another one was, like, a child with their, like, father... And the father was like, uh, is it like, is the rat like diseased? Is it going to bite my kid and give him rabies? This is my friend. Uh, yeah, you can pat it. <laughs> and then the, <laughs> the kid just is like, it, you know that thing where they, they don't really have much like brain. So the kid is like patting the rat like way too hard, but it, he, he means well. He's just like, meh. <laughs> yeah. The rat doesn't seem to mind. He's chill. So the evening starts and the bonfire goes up. Everybody doing their own thing. And you can see that Brenda's actually has a couple of the guards rather close like to the fire to make sure that no drunk could stumble in. Because Lord knows that'll be something. Um, <laughs> so there are there are people around. No one's really causing any any ruckus or anything like that. Not yet, anyway. But it seems to be fine. Is there dancing? Oh, absolutely. People are. You know, join dancing. in on the dancing. Hell yeah. Even if I look stupid as well. Who cares? You're having a good time. You and your rat pal are <laughs> dancing around. A couple of people come and just like dance with you as well. Um, you have a fucking great time. Just, you know, enjoying the simple life. Absolutely. Love it. Um, <clears throat> now we'll work backwards. Um, into the night when the people start partying and stuff like that. Kaba, are you just gonna head back to the tavern? What you gonna do? You'll try and head back to the tavern sort of late afternoon, early evening to get some food yep, before everything kicks off. Yeah, for and sure. And then find a spot by the fire to just sort of chill in amongst everything around him without actually just sit down and just watch yep. it all. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's this um, kind of a very quiet space that you can find yourself in. People kind of walk past every now and again all around you, but you just kind of chill. Heaps of people are... Uh, roaming around, doing their own thing. You can see Amora and a f bunch of other people dancing. You can definitely see there's a rat on her shoulder. Um, <laughs> and... Yep. <laughs> One eyebrow will slowly raise. <laughs> and then... Oh, I love it. Got them. Awesome. Um... Let's see. I would say that probably after a couple of hours, um, a very tall furball woman comes and sits near you. Um, she doesn't like interrupt any of your reading or anything like that. Um, she just kind of sits. Oh, I'm not the, reading here. You're not. You're just chilling. Cool. Watching people around. My bad. <laughs> um, and just kind of like people watch as well every now and again she'll just smile and like 
yeah, she's just kind of looking over everybody as she's sitting down there next to you. She doesn't engage in conversation with you unless you start it. She probably doesn't want to seem like she's bothering you, but she wanted to find somewhere quiet as well. Yeah. Probably like ten minutes in. Mm -hmm. Probably just like not even look at her. Just like any of that remind you of you younger on. Oh, incredibly. <laughs> there have been very, very many New Year celebrations that I've been a part of in this town. One of the more tame ones, I'd say. For now. What about yourself? Uh, I have no idea. Hmm. I learned my name a few days ago. Oh, you meant like that. Okay. Uh, what did you think of me? Well, there is a lot of alcohol consumption, so I wouldn't blame you. Ah, again, that might be the case, but <laughs> perhaps. But I don't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to assume. Suppose I did. Uh, well, congratulations on learning your name. It's a good start. Thank you. It was a good feeling at the time. <laughs> You wouldn't happen to know that one, would you? Um, and she points over to Amora, who's still dancing, still having a good time. Um, vaguely. About as much as I know myself, I think. Mm-hmm. That's why I asked. <laughs> uh... How many of the are you that don't quite remember? As far as I'm aware, there's one of me. Ah. <laughs> Very fair. Is that the question you meant to ask? <laughs> Not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> I arrived here with four others. Ah. What? One of us, one of them disappeared the night we arrived, and everyone else has just sort of mucked around here a bit. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope a they few. They also learned their names a few days ago. <laughs> that was a good good day for each of them, I believe. I would hope so. Learning your name would be quite well for one important. You could always make it up. True. Hmm. Mm, well, I mean, who's to say that the people telling us didn't? That is also true. If there is any aid that I can give, I have... I ran into Amora she know her name? Did you tell the Heart of Holbeck your name? Did you know it by then? Brooke? Sure. I think so. I'm pretty sure you did. Potentially. Yeah. Okay. Let's say you we'll do. Just go that way. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, when I met Amora, um, I saw that she had magical capabilities. So. I managed to teach her some, at least from particular areas that we shared, so I know this town quite well, as well as the connections within it, so if there is anything that I can do to help, please do let me know. We'll sit there for five minutes, and then go, how's your reading? Uh, if you... I can read, yes. 
the Heaven Keeper Zankus. Took a look. We took one look at this book. Told me I'm a smart fella. A few the, couple, these days later, I think I'm actually an idiot because apparently I wrote this and I cannot read it. Do you want to take a look at this page here and tell me what you think I might have written? Ah. Uh. I believe, and she like starts flipping through some of them. Mm -hmm. There are a few people that I can at least recommend you to from the Adventurers Guild, but from what I can at least tell you, this is a wizard scribe book. You do write down the spells yourself, so your she like squids at the pages that you made <laughs> handwriting is shocking just just say it straight out it is <laughs> <laughs> but of course it could also be the firelight and she like tilts it oh no it's not <laughs> perhaps looking at this in daylight might be a bit easier for the others but i can at least point you in that direction but you do have, well, I'm sure you're aware by now, magical capabilities. You gain them through learning them. So, while you may not be able to read it, it does not mean you are an idiot. It would be quite the opposite, actually. Oh, no, no, I think I'm an idiot for, that, for not learning proper handwriting. I mean, there are a fair few doctors here that I don't know what they write. I feel like they do it on purpose. I suspect you are quite right with that. Hmm. Well, as long as they can read it between themselves, I suppose. That is a... Actually, I might go and take this book to one of them. I mean, they write their stuff down, so it's completely legible to everyone else. But, like, they take hmm. a note from themselves or anyone else, and for them it's just straight away. a thought like that I think that also does protect the idiot part <laughs> I would encourage it if you if you want to who knows maybe you'll learn a new secret code code of the doctors hmm <laughs> nice is there a doctor you'd recommend Yeah, there is a hospital here. Okay. <laughs> um, there are a fair few that are very good clerics around. They do help out quite a bit. The one that I would probably recommend the most would be... He's a tabaxi man. He calls himself Dr. Flawed. Dr. Flawed. He's very good at what he does. Mm, unfortunately, I don't need him for what he does, but it's reading, so well, I'll give him a go. Very fair. Next year. Ah, right. And looks up into the sky. Mm, it's only a few hours away. Say about an hour and a half. wizard. Mm -hmm. That is a weird sounding word on my lips. <laughs> there is also a academy of wizardry here. So aside from the Adventurers Guild, um, and uh, she points, heading f straight from the fountain and then gives you a couple more directions. So it's pretty much on like the far north northeast of town. It's not a big campus, but it is very specifically for wizards. That may be of some aid.
seems I've got a grocery list of things to do. Definitely keep you busy for the new year. Thank you very much. I'm kind of looking past you. It seems like she sees a couple of people that she knows and goes to stand up. I wish you all the best with learning your... Everything. <laughs> uh, I'm Thank normally you. Oh, around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm normally around, so. Uh, or just ask nice for. You miss around. Yeah. Uh, you can call me Maglin. But most people know me as the heart of Holbeck here. What's the name that you learnt for yourself? Oh, right. I'm Harry. <laughs> Have a good new year, Harry. Thank you. Thank <laughs> <Hey, Glenn. laughs> She just goes off. She's just like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> I am intending to give just about everyone that asks a different name. Good. Unless there's a very good reason to give them my actual name. Nice. She goes alpha and does her own thing with um, a couple of other people. And... Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Eolus, you wanted to have a look at distance spells. Alright. Let me open up your sheet for things. I'll get you to make two intelligence checks. The I'll second go. one you'll have advantage on because yep. light will be there and they'll probably give you a hand. So... Nice. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. So. In that order, specifically. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for distant spells, you learn just kind of in general about them. So, um, out of game terms, you learn about range and stuff like that, how close and far you need to be to cast them. Um, you learn in game terms that if you're too close to people when trying to cast a distant spell then it's probably not going to be too effective, it'll be quite hard to hit them um, so the disadvantage thing and I'd say for the 18 you've in this book that you're learning about them it uses Cloud of Daggers as an example um, been trying to like describe it and stuff like that so with that one are you going to be trying to learn it after you've read about it or is it just going to be like you want to read about what it does uh it will be learning how to mm -hmm. cast it yeah so awesome. I, I, like after after i read it i'll probably go to a area mm -hmm. of which i can try it yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cool. So, you learn pretty much all the stuff about the spell itself, um, but also it would just tell you that depending on the caster, it can be altered to fit that person uh, in many different ways. So it doesn't always have to look this one way that it describes initially. That'll probably be the main thing. Um, you head out to an area... <coughs> And go and try it. Give me an Arcana check. I know that too. <laughs> yeah, you got your intelligence. <laughs> yes! Oh. Nice. Well, yeah, that would be my first roll anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> awesome. So, yours was like a very pale blue. Um, 
as you are kind of putting it in an area that is away from you, you pick this like little sproutling that's like just come out of the ground um, as you're a little bit out of town. Just kind of focus on that area and above it picture this like, it's almost like a storm cloud, like a um, one that snow would fall from. And as you do it, it takes you a couple of attempts before you manage to get it to work the way that you want it to. How does that look to you? Um, so, I believe everyone knows what Cloud of Daggers looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so, it basically looks like a cloud forming, and then the daggers are just like ice shards just going around in, in this cloud. Mm. Yeah. Uh -oh. So, they just kind of like fall and pierce this like little sproutling and just kind of like snaps. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> so you have <laughs> learnt that spell. You can check that you know that one. Um, so you're not going in and out of the library. You did the reading and then went out and did it. So your next one for Chaos Bolt. Um, that one in particular, you and Light were looking for for quite a little while. Um, and didn't manage to find too much on it. Um, you did manage to find a book kind of describing it vaguely, vaguely, um, but the way that they kind of described like each of the the damage types and things like that, when Light was even trying to explain it to you as well, it was really confusing, so it didn't really make too much sense. You still get the book out, and maybe you can give it another go um, another day, but just trying to figure out how it would be cast in your head, you're finding it quite difficult to envision that. Um, and also, probably by that point, a lot of people would be outside partying, so it'd be quite loud. Um, so there's quite a lot of distraction around. But you can still take that book with you and give it another go with advantage next time. I'm writing shit down because <laughs> I I feel bad that I've actually forgotten stuff. Like I I don't mean to. Yeah, no, you're good. Yeah. Um. So chaos ball advantage. So, um, so when you come back into town after testing your um, cloud of daggers, you um can see just the the bonfire and people kind of chilling and dancing and all of that stuff as well. Uh, I'll give you to make a perception check, why not? So just d20 roll. 20. Uh, nice. Um, you can see where Kaba is sitting with a like very big fur bulk person, they just seem to be chatting, and then kind of like Going around the outskirts of the crowd, avoiding like the the big bundles of people, you can see Amora dancing with a rat on her shoulder. <laughs> um, you also see like a couple of people that are dancing around, and one of them falls into the fountain. You just kind of like chuckle as you keep walking. Uh, a couple of friends that are clearly too drunk to try and help them, like try and help them out, but they fall in as well. Um, then before they, all like four of them end up drowning. A uh, guard just kind of picks them up. <laughs> sits them by the fire and it's just like pats them on the head they're just kind of sitting there like falling over each other <laughs> Fair enough. Mm -hmm. but everyone's having a time um yep. <coughs> whenever you guys want to head back to the uh the pink flame um you can definitely get your food and stuff like that uh if you do get food it is Five silver. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few people, so you have to kind of dodge around everyone. And by the time that the new year comes around, everybody cheers outside. So at midnight specifically, where would each of you guys be? Start with uh, EC, I'll just go in order in Discord. Sitting in the same spot, still. Cool. Cool. Uh, Eolus, where would you be? 
sorry, what was it? <laughs> sorry, where would you be at midnight? Like when it's the new year? At midnight, I would probably... Either be at the temple or walking around with light. Okay. Um, or hanging around the uh, the town center. Okay, I'd say that light would still be hanging around with you, so you guys can just kind of be in the in the town center, just kind of wandering around. Go. Cool. Yeah. So it's light. And Amora. Hell yeah. He <coughs> Sorry. I don't know, do they know what fireworks are? Are there fireworks going off? Give me, give me a oh, second. It's going to be like, ooh, pretty. Um, I just cast okay. bolts. And <laughs> <laughs> they have a tradition where they like cremate everyone at the start of the year. They just like fireworks them up. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, fireball! Fireball in all these bodies. What do you think the bonfires were? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, plague. Just... Uh -huh. <laughs> My god. <clears throat> um, oh. Amora, sorry. You all are burning. <laughs> Absolutely, we are. Uh, Amora, would you be oh. drinking? Okay, how many? All these fireworks go. Um, let's <laughs> She's hot say as well. how how long have we been here? You've been here for a while. Let's say four. Okay. You've definitely been there longer than the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's probably mostly been dancing, so yeah, I need we'll not say that. Let's four. Okay. Let's see what this score is for you, and then... Okay, it's decent. So I need you to make two uh, 2d20 rolls. Okay, wish me luck with these dice. Good luck, because it'll be funny either way. Good unluck or luck. Dice luck, whichever I way they want. Mm. If there's a dot up the top, is it a 6 or a 9? Dot's at the bottom. Top. It has to be at the bottom. So if it's at the bottom of the tick part, it's a nine. If it's at the bottom of the swirl part, it's a six. I think it's a six. I think I got okay. a five and a six. Oh. Okay. More dancing at bonfire. <laughs> I, need new, I need new dice, okay? My dice hate me. Dice anyway do I, do hate I just... me. Do I just buy a set and just send them to you? <laughs> All my dice hate me. I'll so put the <coughs> on it. I need to get some sage, like... Uh-huh, yeah. Sage the dice. What do you they mean you haven't put them in dice jail this entire time? They, they have little jails. They'd be out of okay. D20. They're in little jars. <laughs> but, like, they all hate me. <laughs> You need to, you need to do like the you need to like the regeneration thing where you just like put them on a jar, bury them under like the moonlight. <laughs> yeah, 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 do that. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. On a on a full moon and then unbury them the next day. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, like, so you like, are drunk. Put some crystals in with this. Yes, yes I very true. Assume that with those sort of rolls. Uh huh. Um, you're not like blackout drunk. You are like. Four you're probably one. not. Gonna I'm remember like, much tomorrow. Drunk girl in a bathroom drunk. Okay. Stumbling drunk. <laughs> a stumbling drunk, yeah. You're probably gonna like, have yeah. that hangover. And they're always like really nice to people. They're like, oh my god, I love you here. Oh, that's so nice. That's me right Okay. Now. Yep. You do have a couple of other people that come up to you and like, oh my god, your rat is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> your rat is so cute. <laughs> I would be the person to walk up to her and just be like, "Really, you're keeping one?" Oh, <laughs> uh, amazing. Yes. Um, her name is Bethany. Oh no. <laughs> I, I don't know why I came up with that name, but the rat's name is now Bethany. Okay, I'm putting that in your character sheet. <laughs> that, that, you've that, committed. Yep. You've said it out loud. There's a pin right there. I'll put a pin on that one. Yep, Bethany. Bethany the you're rat. Like I don't even know if the red is female, but his name is now Bethany. Bethany's fine. With Bethany, the During combat, get freaked out and just shoot it. Oh my god. 
Hey, we were Jeez. in combat. I'm gonna blame it on that. <laughs> fair, fair. I mean, natural ones happen. <laughs> I hope. I hope it. Yeah, yeah. That can be my first natural one. That if it happens. Uh, you know, you're I gonna roll a natural one immediately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, amazing. Okay. So we will finish now. Um, Just don't stand next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I stand next to you all the time now. Hey. <laughs> cool. Um, so we will finish up the session with you guys each doing those things, and we'll come back next week with what happens as soon as the new year takes over. Because I don't want Rock to miss out on that. Yeah. Um, it's all good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Sorry, it was a bit rambly. Um, took me a while to get into it. <laughs> Wording is hard. I'm, I'm happy with the session. It was nice. Hell yeah, I'm glad. Cool. Hopefully your internet isn't being a dick next time, Brooke. <laughs> but yeah, if it is, I think it's like, sort of sorted itself out. Now, I think so, yeah. But it, it may just be it because there were so many people home yesterday that were like, "Oh, I can't connect to the internet." That's fair, but yeah, if you do need to have roll twenty closed and just like roll the dice and do it like that, that's totally fine. Um, yeah, whatever way is gonna gonna work for you. we're in combat. Uh, in combat, I'll just be like, stand me or, next to that guy. Yeah, you, mm. you'd have to have the stream open. Yeah, which yeah. would tank the internet more. <laughs> yeah. Now, usually That's, it's fine, it's just like today it was just not having it. It's all good, it's all good. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, I hope everybody has a great rest of your weekend. Thanks for coming, guys. Have a good worried. Yes, I still have yours. It's like right next to me. I forgot what I got you. I know what I got you. <laughs> and I was scared that I got you something I got you last year. Hell yeah, I love double ups of things. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't mind. You got it and thought of me, and that's what's really nice. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't get what it is. It's from you. I love it. <laughs> but you. Yeah. So, y'all guys, have a good rest of the, the rest. <laughs> I'll see you midday tomorrow. Exactly. 12.30, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it'll be 12.30 this time. Cool. I'm excited. I have to remember who the fuck Heo is. Woo! <laughs> just take, like, an hour and a half beforehand to get into... What do you mean? I'll just, like, wake up at 12.30 and that's pretty much Heo. <laughs> He's just a tired boy. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> on it point sounds about right. it does it does doesn't it <laughs> but yeah I'll catch y'all later have a good goodbye bye oh. woo woo okay sorry for the short uh, short so sorry for the short session there we go um hopefully next time we'll be back in full swing it'll be as normal shut up phone I know it's 8 o'clock <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed their little hanging out session. Um, I hope everybody did have a good New Year's for themselves. And take care of yourselves and each other. I will see you on Tuesday for some gaming. I think... I don't know what I'm going to do. I will either be starting Night in the Woods or I'll be finishing Doubled. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> but I'll let you know either through Twis Twitter or Discord. I nearly said Twiscord. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna stop this before I start saying other stupid shit. <laughs> Catch y'all later. Bye bye.